What's going on everybody? This is Al from PC Tech Review 101 coming back to you with another tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to permanently delete Cortana from your Windows 10. So, let's begin. It's very easy, just a few steps. First thing here, we'll go ahead and highlight this start menu here and right click and you will get to this option here. Hit run and here we'll type in reg edit in order for you to get to your registry and hit ok yes okay and now it will bring us up to this part here just follow the easy steps I'll try to do it slow so you could follow along otherwise you could just pause the video if you missed any of the steps so yes go ahead first thing you'll do is click the H key local machine tab and then go down to the software option you click, you click that tab okay this will bring us to this other menu here go down all the way to policies go ahead hit that tab and then you'll select Microsoft the only option here and then you scroll down and you open up the Windows tab okay very good and here we'll create a new key go ahead and just click on Windows so it's highlighted and then right click select new new key and you'll name it Windows search capital W Windows space capital S search make sure you type it exactly the way it is with the two capital letters and a space in between go ahead and hit enter now you created the new key and here we'll create a new value so while it's highlighted go ahead and right click hit new and this time we're gonna choose D word 32 bit value go ahead click on that and this will let us create a new value once again make sure you type in exactly what I do what I type in otherwise it's not gonna work okay we'll start off with capital A allow capital C Cortana okay make sure again you spell it exactly the way I do with the capital A and the capital C and both words together go ahead hit enter and now you have created a new key and just one last thing make sure you just double check right click to modify just make sure that the value is set at zero it does automatically come with zero but just to make sure so in this case it does and you go ahead hit OK and then you go ahead and exit out of registry editor now, now in order for this to take change you must either restart or sign out so I'm gonna go ahead and restart the computer and I will see you back shortly to show you one last thing that we have to do okay so now I'm back after restarting the computer in order for the changes to take effect in the registry you will notice something new down here when you go down to your taskbar you will see that the search option is gone so it appears that Cortana is gone but there's one last thing to do because it still is flow still flowing around so we'll go ahead over here and right click and go to our task manager which you could also do with control or delete and you'll notice that that pesky Cortana is still hanging around in your background processes unbelievable so once you see that you go ahead click this arrow and then you highlight this Cortana part right here with the blue uh, square right here you go ahead and right click it and you go ahead and hit open file location and that will bring us to the system apps right there let's put them side to side okay 
and here you will see that it'll bring us right to the Cortana in system maps and we're gonna go ahead and delete it and rename it but when we do so it quickly kicks back and tells us that the Cortana is running in the background now watch what I show you I'm gonna go ahead and hit rename and I was just gonna name just rename this to just simply Cortana and when you hit enter when you hit yes it kicks back right away it says try again because uh, Cortana is running in the background so we need to suspend this we need to end this task and then go ahead hit try again so we'll leave this at the menu here just watch carefully what I do you go ahead and right click you hit end task and then quickly hit try again and that's it and it's done you're finally done goodbye Cortana no more Cortana oh was there another one here okay we're gonna end task that's it and as you could see it's gone so you saw that when it hits try again you go ahead and highlight this quickly and then just end task and switch over quickly to the right and that's it it's done and you hit try again and uh, once that's done you know that it's changed as you see that that other file is gone and we have a new name file here that we renamed to just Cortana or whatever you, you want to name it to and that's it guys that's how easy it's done so I just want to show you I'm gonna close everything out I'm gonna go ahead back to task manager and there it is it's no longer available it's gone see that here so yeah if this video was helpful uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching and have a good day